in this chapter we are going to talk about how you how we are using Perl modules we go over again and then how we are using modules from CPAN let's start with a basic example of using modules there are basically two different ways of using of using modules depending on how the module was written one of them is the has process procedural or f interface or functions for example the CWD module uh, you can just say use CWD and it will automatically provide you a, a couple of new functions it will the, the module itself imports and your uh, exports and you're importing a couple of functions including the CWD function now it's a really bad example probably because the name of the function is very similar to the name of the module but they are two distinct things so this is with capital C and this is with lowercase c uh, anyway this returns you the current working directory but that's not the important part the important part is that we loaded the module into memory it provided us one or more functions and then we can use that those functions directly there is a slightly better way to do this uh, with the with this specific module uh, you can write after the name of the module after the use statement the list of the functions you would like to import uh, and then you can use the same uh, function again the advantage of, of having this is that there are a couple of advantages one of them is that if you if this module exports lots of other functions they can I interact badly with your the rest of your code if you're not aware of those uh, functions so for example you created a function called abc and this module also exports a function called abc then one of them will override the other one and um, something that you don't want to do by mistake so it's better to say explicitly which functions you would like even if those are sort of exported by default but there's another uh, advantage of having this list here is that when you are uh, when someone who's maintaining your code is starting to look for this function well in this case it's not that obvious because in this case the name of the function is so close to the name of the module but there might be some function name that you don't really uh, can you can't easily associate with the name of the module and then you might have lots of modules he's lo here loading lots of functions so the maintenance programmer won't know we'll have to go through all the modules to find out which one provides this specific function to understand what it, it does so having this listed in in the use statement already will allow the the maintenance programmer to easily locate where that that specific function comes from and then uh, understand the documentation the same thing that i wrote here can be written this way uh, you might recall that uh, having a list of words it can be written with qwd uh, is qw so this is i prefer this one actually so among uh, these versions so far this is the the one that I, I really prefer and then there is a fourth version here when you say use cwd and you put an empty pair of parentheses this tells Perl not to import any of the functions so cwd will be in the memory the mo module will be in the memory and you can access your, the functions with their fully qualified name meaning you have to put the name of the module and then double colon and then name of the function this you can use always so that's not something uh, that special but this you can use always if you put if you don't import the functions then you have to use that so some people like this because this is really eliminates uh, any problem of um, interfering between between functions or a problem between uh, functions so w functions won't override each other by mistake but uh, especially when the module names are longer you will have to type out all this uh, code uh, most people don't like that so i would prefer i would i mostly prefer this this version 